Hi guys, how are you doing? So for today's video, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to prime an IV line that includes a primary and a secondary. Uh, we are going to use this pump here, which is the Alaris PC Guardrail Pump Care Fusion. Of course, there's different pumps that are out there, but this is the one that we use in my facility. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this, okay? So the primary solution that I have that I am going to be hanging is um, sodium chloride, which is a 500 cc bag. I have it upside down because of course this is not medication. I kind of just went ahead and put water in there just for the video purposes. So if this is a 500 cc bag. A lot of times when you see 500 cc of um, sodium chloride, it's probably going to be a patient that needs to be bolus or it's probably going to be a mixture with medication such as vancomycin. So let's just go ahead and get started. What I am going to need is I'm going to go ahead and need my primary, um, my primary line. Before we open anything, you always wanna make sure that you're checking expiration dates on all of your packages, just to make sure that everything is good and you're ready to go and it's not open, the integrity is pretty good. So of course, with any procedures, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands. I already reviewed the medication that I'm going to be administering to my patient. Go ahead and put on some gloves. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my uh, my package for my line. Usually they have like a little slit, which is on the side. So we're able to just go ahead and open it right here. So we can just tear that open. Makes it a lot easier. We have to be very careful when we are about to prime. We just wanna make sure that everything is clamped. That way we do not make a mess and we do not waste any medication. Just gonna go ahead and open everything. Another trick that I would say which is beneficial is it's always good to, when you are going to spike the bag, you do it upside down as opposed to spiking it upward because you can spike the sides of the bag. So you wanna be very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down. Just keep in mind with any solution bag, it's always going to have two different areas um, which we can insert needles or um, lines, which is this port here, which is for medications. If maybe you wanna add like an antibiotic into the bag and mix medication that's going to be on this area here, this area here is just for you guys to go ahead and add the primary line, okay? Or secondary, whichever that you're using. All right, so we spiked our bag, everything looks good. Everything is clamped. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hang my bag upside down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slightly fill up our chamber. You never want to fill the chamber all the way up. The reason for that is because you wanna make sure that you're seeing that the fluid is actually dripping, especially if you're not sure if the patient's receiving the medication or not. So you wanna make sure that you do it halfway as opposed to filling up the whole chamber. So now we're gonna go ahead and prime our pump. So the best way to do it is you wanna prime not too fast, but you don't wanna go too slow either. But you wanna keep an eye just to where your fluid is going, just to make sure that there's not a lot of air bubbles, upside down. You're slowly coming. Watching the fluids go. Beautiful. All right. All right, be careful not to waste too, med too much medication. In this case, we just had like a few drops, but which is normal, which is, you know, normal when you are um, priming your bag, your, sorry, your line, but you wanna make sure that you're not wasting medication, especially if it is an antibiotic. You wanna make sure that you are saving almost, you know, the whole 50 cc's because the patient already not having a lot of medication in that bag to begin with. So you wanna make sure that we're not wasting. 
So after we prime, we look to make sure there's not a whole lot of air bubbles. Everything looks good because air bubbles can cause air embolism. So we don't want that. So what we're going to do is if you have the Alaris Care Fusion, you do have that little blue area, which going to go inside of that hole here, which going to going to clip it into here. Snap it. And we're gonna go ahead and close the chamber. All right, so once that's in place, you're just gonna go ahead and open it. And we're able to make sure that we are scanning our medication and that it is going inside the patient. In our system, we're able to scan we try not to uh, manually program the pump as much as possible. So in that case, this is what we're going to do. If it's a new patient, we're going to put new patient. If not, we're gonna continue with the same patient. So this is how you will be priming for primary. And of course, this is gonna be attached to your patient after you clean. You always wanna make sure that you're cleaning the hub for at least 30 seconds before you attach any solutions. All right. So now the second thing that we're going to do is how do I hang a secondary line, right? The way you're gonna hang a secondary line is of course, like the first one that we use, we're gonna make sure that we're checking the expiration date on it. Everything looks good for this packaging. Notice that this also has a little slit on the side as opposed to going across like the other primary line. So we're gonna slightly open this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off just so it doesn't keep going off because I just wanted to show you guys how to program the pump. All right, so now what we're gonna do, your, a lot of your secondaries will come with a, with something, with, it's almost like a little hook. With that little hook, and the reason for that hook is to help hang your primary line. So that way it avoids any fluids that's, you know, from the secondary to be, from the primary and the secondary to be backtracking into each other. So that's the way that it's gonna go. And especially if you have a patient that is receiving a secondary and a primary to gravity, that helps for the primary to go, the secondary to go first, and then the primary bag will then go ahead and continue infusing, okay? So what we're gonna do is, this is opened. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hook after I'm done priming everything before I attach it to my patient. Take my little hook, put it to my primary bag because that's the one that I'm going to make sure that I hang lower. And this is going to attach this way. So once I go ahead and um, start running the pump, I can go ahead and just disc, um, open all the clamps, attach my patient. So when everything starts infusing, it just avoids from having any backflow towards my patient. So of course the antibiotic is gonna go first before the before my primary. Just make sure that you are programming it on the pump correctly if you are programming it in the pump. But if you are doing it by gravity, naturally um, your secondary is gonna go before the primary. All right, so if you like this video, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Just come back here for more videos. I'm gonna try to make a video every week, all right? I love you guys. And don't forget that no matter what opportunities, where you work in nursing field, the world needs exactly what it is that you have to offer. All right, I love you.